So just using my basic webcam, you can see I've added a background blur. I've put my details here on the right hand side. And I've also got AR tracking on myself as I move around the room. And all these features are completely free. And we're going to learn to do it right now. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to improve your webcam across any platform to improve your online calls. With that being said, let's get into this. The Camo app is available on Windows 10, Windows 11, and Mac OS. To get it on Windows 10 and 11, we're just going to go over to the Microsoft Store, then type in Camo Studio and download this app here. There is a free and a paid version. The paid version does give you 1080p, but for most online platforms, the free version with 720p is all you're gonna need. So we're gonna press download here, and this is gonna start installing on your PC. Once the app is ready, we're just gonna go open, and we agreed it with the Camo Studio welcome page. So you can turn, it says here you get amazing results with any webcam or camera. You can also use your iPhone and your Android to, as your webcam as well. For today, we're just gonna learn how to improve the webcam on our computer. Let's go continue. And here you wanna pop in your details. If you don't do this now, you can do it later, but I'm gonna pop in my details for now. It's gonna ask, what are you using Camo for? Is it streaming? Is it work calls? You can scroll down, is it content creation? I'm gonna select on work calls and I'm gonna select on content creation and go continue. Then it is gonna ask if you wanna download it for your iPhone or your Android. I'm gonna go continue one more time. And then this is where you're gonna customize your scene. I'm gonna pop in my details, Alvo. We can always edit this later on. And then you can add some customizations here, whether you wanna add your email address, your location, anything like that. Once you get to this page here, you're gonna select on install. And this is gonna start installing the Camo Studio compatibility add-on. This add-on is required so it can connect to things like Teams, Zoom, OBS, all that sort of stuff. There is a walkthrough guide that if you have time, run through it in your own time. Uh, if you wanted to, but I'm going to run you through it today. So let's maximize this in full screen. Uh, right now it's saying another app is using the camera. So I'm going to have to disconnect my webcam OBS. And we're greeted with this. Uh, there is an upgrade option to go from 720 to 1080p, but for your video calls, 720p is really all you're going to need. On the left-hand side of the screen, you get all your camera settings. So I can drop this down and choose the different cameras that are connected. Right now I've got it set on my Microsoft Modern Webcam, but I could go my Surface Camera, which is the one inbuilt on my device here. Let's jump back to that webcam though. If we needed to, of course, we could change our resolution here or the frame rate if the cameras allowed us to, but let's get into changing some of these settings. My favorite thing to do with Camo is actually go here where it says Scenes and Watermarks, and you can customize how you look on an external call. What I do is quite simple. I actually just go to control five, which you've got all these different scenes here where you can adjust how people see you on a video call. Let's actually edit this one for today. I'm gonna right click and I am gonna go duplicate and modify. And we're gonna call this a demo and go okay. And it takes us into the modification uh, section. So you can see on the left-hand side here, we have all these different elements that we can modify and we can add even more if we wanted to customize uh, this setting even further. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and we can either select on the left-hand side elements or we can choose on the section itself on the page to edit. I'm gonna select on our image, for example, and instead of this generic one, I'm gonna go change source file and I'm just gonna go into my downloads and I'm gonna drop in the YouTube logo, for example. Over here, it's got an image, but maybe I don't want that. So I'm just gonna hit delete, get rid of it. These guys, I'm gonna move further up. I'm pressing and holding control to select multiple, and I'm gonna move them up. Maybe I wanna have my email address there, but not all the time. I could select on hiding that text by using the eye on the left-hand side. You can see we have this shadow, which is really quite cool on the right-hand side. So we stand out that little bit more. You can choose to turn that on or turn that off. On the right-hand side of the screen, you have the different positions and the settings of every single element. So maybe the opacity of this shadow, we want it to be a bit darker or a little bit lighter. Maybe we want to rotate it and move it to the other side of the screen. Let's move it back to where it was though. Maybe we want to change the color of the border to it. Don't know if this is going to work, but let's give it a go. That one doesn't actually have a, a border. Um, but you can go ahead and you can make all these edits and these changes. So what you've done here is you've gone from being a general talking head to really just putting some advertising and showing yourself on the page here. 
One thing I actually do more than this, let's go back, I'll show you how I've really customized my, my work stuff, is I prefer something a little bit more subtle. So I usually grab this one here, which is control five. I right click on it, I duplicate and modify this. Let's call it YouTube two, go okay. And I think this is a little bit more subtle, it's a little bit nicer. And all I usually do is I change the source file. Again, I put my logo to it. I leave it as content creator. I can make this bigger, I can make it smaller. Um, I can choose to get it to fit or have the aspect ratio. Uh, depending on your logo, you will have to move this around a little bit. Let's put this in here. Um, I also put the rectangle back and I get rid of the image here. And I prefer having the rectangle, grabbing it and making it that little bit smaller. So grabbing the side here, zooming it in just a bit, moving it across. And then the opacity, I bring it down just so my details stand out, but not so much. Uh, and then of course I go back. From here, you can see I now have my name in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, which a lot of people compliment. And they say it looks really nice. It looks really professional. And then in the right-hand side of the screen, you can see we have all these different modes as well. I choose to put on a slight portrait blur or a bit of a background blur, which is gonna load now. So you can see we've added a background blur where everything is a little bit harder to see. Uh, you can of course choose to make this softer or more intense. Uh, you can also choose to do things like completely blur out the background, or you could even add a green screen if you wanted to and import your own background. I prefer just the really subtle um, background blur so you can still see it, but it's, it's a little bit out of focus. And then there is this button of spotlight where you can actually highlight yourself. This is a bit too intense, but if you have it up just maybe at about 20%, you stand out that little bit more on the camera as well. Um, if you wanted to add filters and things like that, you can. I choose not to, but have a play around with these. And you can turn on emoji hands or augmented reality. So you can do things like wave and your hand's gonna turn into a, a big emoji hand. Uh, you can do things like get an idea. It pops up somehow. Uh, you can look at all the different emoji hands in the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Uh, but I'm gonna go none. Again, you can do that, it's a bit of fun. Uh, and then of course, underneath that, you have all the image adjustments. I think there are too many here for a standard video, video call, but you can of course choose to expose and change everything. I usually keep that hidden. Uh, but what we've done right now is that we've added our name in the bottom right hand corner. We've added a background blur and added a spotlight. And one last thing people love is on the left hand side of the screen, there is the button of framing. So my webcam doesn't do auto framing. If I move around, it's not following me. But if we turn on the framing section, we can have it on auto without or auto with zoom. I usually keep it on auto with zoom. Uh, by default, it's really up there. Uh, but I have this just above the strawberry. Uh, this is talking about your face size. But if I move around the room, it's going to start following me around the room. So if I'm standing up and I'm moving around, it allows it to follow and track me around the room, which is a really cool feature uh, and all of this is completely free. If you wanted to change your regular webcam into what we're using right now on Teams, Zoom, Slack, or anything else, I'll show you how to do that. All you need to do is log into your video platform of choice. For today's example, I've got Microsoft Teams open. Go into the settings of that platform and underneath your device options where you can choose your microphones, your webcam, all that sort of stuff, you wanna scroll down and instead of having your regular webcam chosen, you wanna select on the option of camo. And what we'll see is that we are now here and we are using our camo webcam. We have the background blur, our details here, and of course that AR tracking on. One tip I will give you though, is that camo app does not, or camo studio doesn't automatically open up when you turn on your PC or your Mac. So you do have to make sure that when you turn on your computer for the first time, press that start button, type in the word camo, just to open up Camo Studio and have this running in the background. If not, it won't actually find your um, your webcam and you have a black screen instead of your camera. Uh, and then you can, of course, when you're in a call, you can go ahead and you can actually make changes and settings on the fly. Uh, say for example, you were in a call and you wanted to add some filters or you wanted to add your AR hands, jump back into Camo Studio, turn it on, your Camo hands are working, they'll happen in Teams as well. We can X out of the Camo Studio app 
and it's still gonna be running on your video platform of choice. And there you have it. That is how you can level up your webcam across any platform, whether it's Teams, Slack, Zoom, or anything else for free using Camo Studio. Let me know what you think of Camo Studio in the comment section down below. If you like this video, let me know by giving the thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. In the wild, where the trees sway, there's a fox spread and gay.